Hello again, more music stuff to tell you about. Great flea market score this weekend. Just happened yesterday. Found a bunch of cool stuff for really cheap at one visit to the flea market. You won't believe it. Uh, I was so lucky and I can't wait to show you this stuff. So let's just get to it. Check it out. Okay, showing you what I got now. Let me preface this by saying that most of what you'll see here is from the heavy metal genre, uh, maybe speed metal, thrash metal, power metal, that kind of thing. Most of these, not all of them. Also, I wanted to mention that each of these items I'm going to show you cost me a dollar or less, uh, which is great because, uh, unfortunately, I have to put a lot of this stuff up for resale on my eBay page. As much as I want to keep some of this for my heavy metal collection, my cassette collection. I'm going to have to let them go to help the train keep rolling here. So let's get into it. Um, you know, as an aside note, also, I think most of these will sell for between 20 and 30 bucks each, maybe a little more for some of them, maybe a little less for others, but I'm really hoping to do well here on this, uh, this flea market haul. So let's start with this one, Doro. Now, as many of you know, Doro Pesh is the singer for a band called Warlock. And um, at some point uh, in 1989, she put out this record called Under the Name Doro. And it seems like a solo record, but what I've heard is it's actually just the Warlock band under a different name. I think she was having some legal issue with her label uh, and using the name Warlock at the time. So they put it under this name, Doro. And I'm not quite sure how many records she put out under the name Doro, but how cool to find it completely sealed with the hype sticker uh, I think that's so sweet. And um, I'm not really familiar with a lot of Warlock stuff or Doro, but uh, I am going to try to dig in and find some physical media of her so I could add it to my collection. Now, here's Sado. This band is interesting. They're from Germany. Sado, of course, making reference to S&M, Sadomasochism. Um, what I've heard is that um, this was their 1988 album. I think it was like a third release of theirs. And uh, they had kind of um, a reputation for being... Uh, kind of an erotic uh, kind of show, as far as their live show, erotic, uh, sexual references and innuendos in their show, kind of a campy, like a, like a show like The Tubes, the band The Tubes uh, put on. Um, and I don't know if there's any live footage of them online. I've never seen it, but I've heard that it was quite a show to see. And uh, interesting that I found this sealed. Um, I've only seen the record maybe a few times in my life out in the wild, not very easy to find. And here's a band I wasn't really familiar with, Gamma Ray. Um, although I've heard their name and seen kind of various incarnations of their logo over the years, not really familiar with their music. I think they're listed on Discogs as being speed metal. This is their album, Heading for Tomorrow. This is actually a 1990 release. Most of these things you'll see here are from the mid to late 80s. Uh, and um, yeah, most of them all are sealed. And hype sticker, pretty cool. I love when cassettes have hype stickers. Uh, moving on here, here's a band called Shy with their release Excess All Areas. And kind of a hair metal, hard rock band as far as I remember. I think I have a 7-inch of theirs in my collection if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but although this is you know technically unplayed and new, it's not really sealed because the uh, shrink wrap is a little beat here. But it is still unwrapped and uh, in new condition. So we'll see what that can bring on the eBay Another band I was not familiar with, Victory. Never heard of them. This is their album called Hungry Hearts. It's on a label called Rampage, which I am not familiar with either. Uh, again, I think this is listed as power metal, heavy metal, or hard rock. Uh, not familiar with it, but wow, how cool to find it sealed. i got to look more into Rampage records. Just do not know anything about that. Now, this next one's very cool. Udo. Now, Udo was the singer for a band called Accept Balls to the Wall was one of their big uh, hits. And this is a solo record he put out called Mean Machine. It's got the hype sticker. It's totally sealed. It's really in nice shape. And I have a great Udo story. Uh, once when I was, um, I was visiting Sweden because I have a friend over there named Marcus who sings for a band called Bewitched. And this was like... 20 years ago. It must have been in 2001 or something like that. And I was over in Sweden visiting my friend Marcus, and uh, we were at a bar. And uh, while we were sitting at this bar, uh, I guess Udo was at a table across the room from us. And um, 
Udo recognized my friend Marcus as being in the band Bewitched because I think they played a festival together or something. So he waves us over to his table. Oh, come here, come here. So me and Marcus and my girlfriend and Marcus's friend or whoever was with us, we walk over to Udo's table where he's sitting with a couple of friends. And then we just kind of sat with him and his friends and had a few beers and talked about rock and roll. And, and uh, it was really cool. It was a very fond memory of mine uh, in visiting Sweden. And Marcus of Bewitched, if you're watching, my friend, haven't talked to you in many years. I would love to catch up with you again, Marcus. Uh, moving right along here, Anvil. Now, most people know who Anvil is. I think they had a pretty uh, popular documentary done about them a few years ago, which I still haven't seen. I really need to see it. This is their Pound for Pound album uh, on Enigma Records and Metal Blade label. Totally sealed. Very nice. And uh, we'll see if an Anvil collector will pick that up for me on eBay. Now, this next one here is another good one. I've been seeing a lot of people, well, a couple of people here on the VC Viral Community YouTube world talking about Halloween lately. Uh, AGK, uh, AGK, who has a channel on, on uh, YouTube here, spoke about, a, I think, a box set he got recently or, or maybe, a, no, it was a, maybe a Korean import he found. And then another friend of mine was showing his box set of this, which I think it was either Dr. October I can't remember. But anyway, somebody was showing Halloween. I just found this this weekend in totally sealed condition, their Judas release on uh, combat and noise labels. And one thing about Halloween, I never really intersected with them during my music collecting life. Uh, I've seen their records all around. I've always really loved their name. Uh, but I've never heard them that I could remember. I just don't think I've ever owned any. And I was never into their graphics, like the whole pumpkin thing. And the, it was just so, like, didn't connect with me. Although I do love their name. I think it's a genius name. Just was never into the pumpkins. But how cool. A totally sealed copy of the Judas record right there, which is nice. And I know I call tapes records sometimes. Give me a break. Their albums, whatever. Intrinsic. Another, I think, power metal, speed metal band, uh, which I've never heard of. Totally not familiar with these guys. Uh, but... How great to find a completely sealed copy. This is probably from 88, I believe. Something like that. Yeah, I think it's 88. Uh, but what is this going on here? Can you guys help me with this? Is that, is that like a barfing alien gargoyle? What is going on? I don't know. But intrinsic. I love finding stuff that I have never heard of before. It keeps it interesting. Next up, Keel. Uh, album they have called Larger Than Live. And... Um, totally sealed and i can't remember the name of this label but uh but yeah keel i was never really big into keel but always enjoy finding heavy metal still sealed i i just i'm so intrigued and uh like i said i would keep a lot of this for my own collection if i just didn't have to you know, keep the keep the sales coming through here now here's another one totally unfamiliar with zed yago or zed yago again listed as a power metal heavy metal speed metal band pilgrimage Hype sticker, love it. Uh, totally sealed on the RCA label, but don't have any idea what they sound like. Uh, really wish I had a open copy of one of these to, to listen to, but as it is, it will go to a Zed Diego collector on eBay. Witness, another band I wasn't familiar with. I have never really seen anything by Witness. Probably just standard hard rock, maybe a little bit of heavy metal thrown in there. I don't know, those guys look like, uh, you know, Bon Jovi or something? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they sound like. I'm totally intrigued. Uh, totally sealed. I won't be listening to that tape. But here's a tape that I am keeping for my own collection. I could not let this one go. I couldn't. I don't care how much it's worth. I couldn't let it go. It's Pile Driver. Totally sealed copy of their Stay Ugly album. I love Pile Driver. Uh, what a great sense of humor and uh, really great metal music, in my opinion. You know, real simple kind of 80s metal. But um, to find a sealed pile driver cassette, unheard of in my world. I, I don't ever find this stuff in the wild. So I got to keep this. And I'm friends with old Piley here on Facebook. And he's a great guy. Big into music and um, really entertaining. So yeah, pile driver sticks with me. And it's going into my collection because, yeah, it's pile driver. So that doesn't leave. Next up is a, a Raven cassette. Raven, uh, fairly well-known metal band nothing exceeds like excess album there if it can focus and uh yeah very great to find raven completely sealed and at the same visit i was also to able to find this 
I was also able to find this uh, Pack is Back Raven album. And this is when they were toying with some like sport looks here. I think one of the guys had a sport helmet on or fencing. I don't know what the heck was going on. They got underwear. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what look they were playing with there, but uh, it kind of makes me giggle. So that's good. I might even listen to this before I sell it because I've never heard this album before. So we're going to get into this Pack is Back at some point here during my day. Uh, and let's show you another one I wasn't familiar with. This isn't sealed, but uh, Joey Tafola. I've never heard of this guy. This is an album called Out of the Sun uh, on Shrapnel Records, which I don't have a whole lot on Shrapnel Records, if anything. Um, don't know what it sounds like. I think it was listed as heavy metal, hard rock. Uh, totally new to me. I've never heard of this guy. Now, the last two cassettes I have to show here are not heavy metal. They're totally uh, something different. And I'm going to keep this one. This is Talk Talk, a synth pop band. And this is a, a best of compilation they put out called Natural History. I have this on CD, and I probably have the US version of this on cassette, but this is the really sweet looking black cassette uh, Canadian release. And I love these black Canadian cassettes, that, especially when they're in a nice shape like this. They just look so crisp and cool. So I'm going to keep this for my collection. And the last one I found is even way, way off of another genre. This is the Partridge Family, the Sound Magazine release. And this is a very old, early 70s Ampex clamshell uh, cassette case in beautiful shape. Everything is in such great shape. I and mean, look at that. Very little wear to this outer paper, paper label. So I will be selling this on eBay for sure. So I've sold Partridge Family cassettes like this uh, in the past. So I know that'll sell. And the last item I want to show you is not a cassette. It is music related, but it's really, really kind of bizarre. And the story about this is that when I first showed up at this flea market in the early morning, I walked up to this guy's uh, crate of records. And there was a few records I was thinking about buying to resell, maybe some Elvis stuff, whatever, just stuff that I knew I could get some money for. And he said, well, look, if you pick out enough records, I'll throw in something free. And the thing that he was speaking of that he wanted to throw in free was this item I had picked up and I asked him about it. It had a little crack in it. And he said, look, uh, if you buy enough records, I'll just throw that in for free. So after I looked through about 20 records, I find that most of them, if not all of them, are either warped or cracked or scratched or they have mold damage. So I put them all back and I'm like, look, dude, unfortunately, I couldn't find anything because everything I wanted to buy was, was, was damaged. And he said, well, you know what? You can just have that item that you asked me about earlier. Since it's broken, you can just take it. So he gave me this thing, and I know I'll be able to sell this. This is not a band I'm into, and I can't find any record of this particular item existing online. If somebody could help me out, figure out this thing, but check this out. It is a Journey Frontiers Frisbee. Now, Frontiers album came out in 1982. This Frisbee is copyright, if you could see it there, 1983. Uh... You know, with this little spiral logo here, obviously designed with Frisbee in mind. And the, the damage on this, there's a little bit of wear around here, like somebody actually used the Frisbee to play with it. But the damage that I was talking about uh, when I mentioned it to the seller was this crack on the inside. And it's behind the sticker, you know, barely noticeable, especially if you're going to display it like this. So I was just tickled that the guy gave it to me for free because I know that there's a journey collector out there that would want this. Now, if this was a Devo Frisbee or a Zig Zig Sputnik Frisbee or a Debbie Gibson Frisbee or a Thor Frisbee or a Carcass Frisbee or any of these bands that I collect obsessively, I would have to keep it, of course. But Journey, I'm not really into, into so much, but I know somebody will be. So this is going on eBay and hopefully that journey collector that's been looking for this for decades will finally have it. And that's what I have for you. Thank you again for watching my flea market haul. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for the subscriptions. Thanks for the likes. May the rock and roll gods bless you as they have blessed me. See you next time.